There has been so much going on in life recently. So much. Let's start off with work, man. I am an esports coach. Love being an esports coach. This is probably the biggest blessing of my life that I get to say that as a way that I make my living, I get to teach kids how to play video games. But I don't know how enjoyable of a job it is for me anymore. I'm an esports coach specifically for the YMCA. I've been working for the Y for going on eight years now. So I've got my enrichment classes that I do over at the local elementary schools, and I've got league play, which I do over at the YMCA. I also coach this thing called girls who game which is actually really really fun esports is not the only thing that i do for the ymca i also coach our preschool sports classes i also work at the fitness center man i don't feel that teaching the preschool classes is what I'm meant to be doing in life with the fitness center stuff. Fitness is a huge part of my life. I love working out. I've been doing it for the better part of two years now. Almost, yeah, going on two years now. It's more customer service than anything. I'm just sitting there for four hours at a time, not really doing anything. Occasionally, you know, one of our members will come up and they'll be like, can you help me set this one machine up? Can you help me change the channel or something like that? Like, I just feel like I'm getting nowhere right now with my job, which is really, really sad to say. I'm 25 years old. I've been working the same job for eight years. That being said, you know, there's other things that I've been looking at. Photography, for example, you may know I'm a photographer at Optic Jones on Instagram. Check out my work. And I love photography. I just did a job. I got paid more for that job than I do for a week of work working at the YMCA. I get to flex my creativity. I get to meet all kinds of new people. It's so much fun. And at 25 years old, I feel like I need to start getting it together. About a year ago, I made a podcast called Figured by 26 where I basically talked about when do you really need to have life figured out by you don't need to have everything figured out life is very complicated and there are so many different routes and so many different ways that you can take in order to be successful but for me as an individual James Jones what do I do I'm struggling with that right now do I stay with the YMCA do I pursue photography even with content creation for the past almost two months now I have every two days posted a YouTube short and every week posted to the YouTube video and every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Sunday, I have been going live over on Twitch and doing my thing. And I'm way ahead of schedule for where I thought I was going to be. I'm sitting at 335 followers over on Twitch. As the, the moment I'm recording this video, I've got 192 subscribers over here on YouTube, which is not a lot at all. I am still a very small content creator, but the amount that I have grown within that small amount of time has been way above my expectations. I've always been against the idea of being a content creator. Just something about that word content really irks me the wrong way. But as I have been doing this more consistently, as I've been posting more videos, I'm starting to come to terms with the fact that yes, I am a content creator. No matter how you define that, regardless of how I feel about that word content, just such a cringy word, that's what I am. And that has also been adding on and piling on to the confusion. Like, where do I go from here? I'm going to be an MC for the Austin Spurs, or I'm not going to be. I am an MC for the Austin Spurs. I was just hired a few weeks ago all these different things that i have to think about top of that i've got fitness i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have not worked out in over a month it's been way harder for me to find that time to go to the gym all these things are just taking up my time and it's just it's sucking the soul out of me i think i needed this break to really fully reset myself i'm not gonna lie to you guys i look freaking incredible let me show you bro like like Come on. But it's not just about the way that I look. That's not why I'm going to the gym. I go to the gym because the way it makes me feel. I just feel so much better about myself because I know when I go to the gym, I'm doing something that is for me and for me only. The way I've been able to cope with the bouts of depression that I find myself going through, it's it's been my rock. Just doing my best to manage all these different things, right? It's 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 hard. We are going through a crazy crazy period in life right now wars climate change social and political turmoil there's just so much going on in our world i don't know what you're going through in your life and i don't even want to speculate what's going on in your life you are the only person who knows what you're going through but through all of that i just want to encourage you guys to remain resilient for myself it's so hard to wake up know that i'm going to a job that i feel like i'm getting nowhere with knowing that i have to man i gotta make a video knowing that i've got crap i haven't gone to the gym 
all these different things. And then on top of that, just seeing the news, opening up Twitter or TikTok, scrolling through and seeing all the BS that's going on in the world, it is hard. But I think a great way to see it, or at least the way that I see it, if the world is on the brink of collapsing anyway, what's stopping me from doing everything that I can to live the life that I want to live and live a life that I know I'm going to be happy? At the end of the day, we all deserve that. We all deserve to be happy. There's always another job. There's always another opportunity. There's always next time, but we only get one life to live. If you're not constantly telling yourself positive things, if you're not constantly giving yourself that positive reaffirmation, it is incredibly hard to make it through the day-to-day -day struggles that we all deal with. Please remain resilient. Imagine where you want to be in the next 5, 10, 15, 35 years from now and do what you can to make it happen. Trust yourself. Trust your decision making. Do what you think is right for nobody but you. Because at the end of the day, if you are happy, ultimately that's all that matters. Thank y'all very much for being here, guys. I appreciate it. What's something that you've been telling yourself recently? What's, what's that one thing that's been getting you through your day-to-day -day life? Let me know in the comments, man. Y'all be easy. Stay positive. I'm going to catch you guys on the flip. Until next time, fam, y'all peace out.